Fine eye. We're going to learn you this one being grammar. Verb pattern. And now, please welcome learning this work with a master. Bozo! Alright, welcome all of you guys back to our new episode of Learn English with Jose. Oh, what a week! And we are back with our new lesson. It is the Unit 1D Grammar Verb Patterns. And now, please open your books into page number 7. Page number 7. So, okay, first we'll do an exercise number 1. Speaking, look at the photo. What do you think the woman's job is? So first, let's read. You can't avoid seeing images of supermodels whenever you go. Their faces and wear everywhere. On TV, in magazines, in, in and on billboards. They all want to work for big names like uh, uh, L'Oreal or Gucci. So they spend hours working out in the gym and looking after their appearance. They seem not to mind the attention, but what is it actually if actually like being in the public eye all the time? Okay. So we have breath. And firstly I would like to apologize to the word L L O R E O. Uh, um, I have read it wrong. Uh, I know that uh, I I I can learn English, and I can say the brands, the name of a brand, good. But to this, uh, maybe bad. So uh, please forgive me. Uh, L O R E A L, L'Oreal. So we have read. So what is the woman's job? I think it is the super. She is the supermodel. Supermodel. And why? Why? Because it right on the first sentence. You can't avoid seeing the images of supermodels whenever you go. So that is one. So she is a supermodel. First, she have to look after her appearance a lot, so that when she goes to the public. She have to be good. She have to be good, good for her or his appearance, good for everything. So being a celebrity or a supermodel, like work for entertainment, you need to um aware. You have to be careful because maybe something bad will happen to you, like. Okay, maybe maybe I will not mention here because we are uh we are talking about the grammar, not not this. So I have explained to you, okay? So uh, if you want to know how is the life of a celebrity is, how the life of a celebrity is, can go to Google. Google the thing we can search everywhere, every time, every single time. Exercise number two, read a text about supermodels. Okay, supermodels. Find these verbs. Are they followed by an by an infinitive or an ing form? First one, avoid. Avoid what? First one, you can't avoid seeing. Avoid seeing. So let's write the word seeing, okay? Avoid seeing. Uh, next one. Want uh, supermodels whenever you go. Their faces are everywhere on the TV, in the magazines, and on the billboards. They all want to work. Want to work. So to work. Next one. Spend time. Maybe time, but spend. Uh, 
they so they spend hours working out. So working. They spend hours uh, working. Uh, the last one seem. They seem not to mind, not to mind, not to mind, not to mind. No to mind. Or no to mind. <laughs> No to my no. Okay, so we have finished the exercise number two, but okay, so listen again, exercise number four. Let's uh, go to the exercise number four. Listen again, complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in the brackets. Okay, so. Uh, let's listen. Okay, so let's listen. I don't expect to lead a perfectly normal life. I mean, you can't when your face is so well known. Some models hardly go out and they avoid going to clubs and restaurants. They never agree to pose for photos for the paparazzi. But that's just silly because the photographers won't give up. and They can make life very difficult for you. I go out quite a lot, but I manage to keep my private life separate from my public life. I can't imagine not having any privacy at all. That would be awful. A friend of mine, he's a model too. He went on holiday to Mallorca and some photographers followed him out there. And he couldn't face leaving the villa because he knew that they were waiting for him in the street outside. So he ended up staying in the villa for most of the holiday. Luckily it had a pool. Okay. So we have finished listening part. So have you written all the answers? If not, let's correct with me. First one, I don't expect I don't expect to lead. To lead. Uh this is my answer to my listening part. And I have 100% correct. I'm not looking up for the teacher's book. I'm not. I did it. And it is correct. Some others hardly go out and they avoid going. Avoid going. Number three. They never agree to pose. We have to do this quick. Four, I manage to keep. Number five, I can't imagine not having. Not having because it is not have. Not having. I have heard it. Number six, he couldn't face leaving. And the last one, number seven. And number seven it is, so he ended up to stay. Ah, stay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ended up. Okay. So we have finished the exercise number four of, uh, exercise number four of, uh, lesson 1D. And now we will, we'll take a break and we'll be right back with the board with their very important board. So stay tuned and stick around.